While interviews are the heart of a great video, it can also get awfully boring staring at footage of a person sitting in a chair and talking. To liven things up a bit, we deploy the amazing weapon of B-roll footage. B-roll is the pretty eye candy you'll be putting on top of an interview to give the viewers something interesting to look at. Every time you've not been looking at my bald head, you have been looking at B-roll. Let's say I'm making a video for the Transgender Orphan Kitten Foundation. Rather than forcing the viewer to watch two minutes of their executive director moving their lips, I'm going to pull on the audience's heartstrings by showing footage of adorable, gender-ambiguous, parentless kittens. When gathering B-roll footage, quantity equals quality. You want to gather tons of short five-second clips. Why five seconds? Because later on, when you go to edit your footage, you don't want to be stuck waiting through tons of really long video clips. Most individual B-roll clips are only in a video for one to four seconds. So to keep down your editing time, just film for five seconds at a time and then move on to your next piece of B-roll footage. And don't forget what we talked about in our filming tutorial. Film your B-roll clips from weird angles, crop in really close, and try to use the rule of thirds. Now with a nonprofit that works with kittens, finding cool things to film is easy. But not all subjects lend themselves to great B-roll. Say you're filming a video for a nonprofit whose mission is to provide free tax consulting services. Then what the hell do you film? IRS forms? The good news is that B-roll footage doesn't necessarily have to be super relevant to what your video is about. Have you ever seen a commercial for herpes medication? What B-roll do they usually use? Footage of herpes sores? Of course not. They usually show a happy person doing yoga. Tell your doctor if your immune system isn't normal because of bone marrow or kidney transplant or advanced HIV disease. Ask your doctor about one's daily Valtrex. If you're capturing B-roll for the tax nonprofit, you can capture footage of clients playing with their kids, driving to and from work. As long as it's vaguely related to the video subject, you'll probably be able to get away with it. A couple years ago, we worked with a really cool nonprofit called Catapult Design who designs products for people living in abject poverty. They do a lot of cool work in Africa, so we assumed they'd fly us there for the filming. Unfortunately, they didn't have the budget. We asked them if they had any of their own photos or videos we could use, and all they had were a handful of very short clips of a wheelbarrow they had designed. We gladly used those clips, but there still wasn't enough B-roll to last the entire video. So all we did was gather footage of them working in their office. While the B-roll wasn't as awesome as footage of orphaned transgender kittens, it was way more interesting than just staring at a bunch of people sitting in a chair and talking. I'll play the video for you now. What I want you to pay special attention to is how mundane the visuals are that we use for the B-roll. Many technologies handed off to developing countries fail, simply because they lack good design principles. While technology has massive potential to bring about change in impoverished communities, it's rarely designed with the end user as the focus. Catapult Design exists to bring good design to those who need it the most. We assembled a team of designers, engineers, and entrepreneurs to design and deliver products that enhance the quality of people's lives in underserved communities. Our products are designed with people at the forefront. Even though we film normal, everyday stuff, it still ended up kind of interesting. And because we filmed from weird angles and only showed each clip for about three seconds, we were able to hold the audience's attention for much longer. Not an epic video, but definitely not a sucky video either.